Stop. Wait a minute. Let me put some boom in it. Hey, man, don't do. <laughs> hey, shout out, man. Shout out to our sponsor, Coldest Water. Man, you know what I'm saying? Let's show, show them what you got. Show them the goodness. You see that? You that, All right, that, guys. that peach mango over there? Let's see. Hand up the box. Whoa, bro. Look at that. This is so cool. We love, you know, if we're not short, we are no short of coldest water. We love coldest water, keeping our water cold. If I want some cold, cold water, I use my coldest water. Every time I try to put it in my little plastic jug, it never works. I always have to put it in this if I want it ice cold. You hear me? Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, and also, man, if you put in code CS in the referral link below, it will give you 10% off your order, man. Who don't like a discount? I love it. that it's engraved, guys. Oh, engraved oh yeah. Yes. Show, what is it showing the back? What is it? Like? and Snuffle. Shout out. Love Sorry it. for the light. The light throwing up with it. This is and... a peach color, too, by the you way. You can get them. You can get yours engraved and say whatever your name is. You know what I'm saying? Love it. Thanks, Coldest Water. I love it. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. I don't think everybody can the find that. No, because the thing about is, you education, keep, you keep throwing but you things. Do, you want to talk you about education. Go back to is redlining, and that's uh, it's great. I mean, I mean, what, 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 what about about it? But, but I just now, um, whenever you, you, if you, you have see to, why let I me have finish to, my statement. You see why I have if to talk you ever have to go talking, all the way back to the 1930s, because because you got to be quick to the 1930s. Point. Black people. No, I don't have to be quick. It's actually actually if you want to teach me how to shoot, talk about shooting cop. If you want to talk to me about making a point, then you need to look at my law school education. Okay, but we're not in the question right now. Ego. Yeah, that's what's going what on. What does your law school education have to do with the facts of what they're talking about right now? Nothingness. I think that pride is. Yeah, kind of it's, going it's on. setting in because you ain't you ain't bringing it. You need to respond to what they're asking. Bump your law school education. That's not relevant for what they're asking. Right. Listen, listen, listen friend, to what I'm said saying. Get black, educated, black, so people, black people are in schools that are failing across the country, and nobody has fixed that. Oh. I know you want to say it's Democratic cities, but Republican cities are failing black people in what schools about, as What well. about responsibility Here's, from the black community? Oh, thank you, me, you. I'm so glad you, you said that. A, responsibility for the black community. It, you said something about BLM. I have moved in a different direction than the Black Lives Matter movement and created something called Black Opportunities. Because I know that in order for black people to attain I'm independence, to, attain to independence, some, some have, 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 no, 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 no. They talk, have talk. attained, for black people to attain independence, they have to build themselves up financially. We'll get back to the But that's true. What he's saying, I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. feeling that, I'm with that. Mm -hmm. But now, but, but if we living on the matter of, you know, um, you know, what initially being a, you know, a BLM, I don't really, you know, when you start educating yourself, you know, you kind of like, mm. but if you focus now, you got something specific that you're making that's supposed to help, then that's different. But now if you just, if this is sensationalized, emotionalized kind of, kind of system, that ain't it. That ain't it. Because then once everything die down, who ain't nobody talking about it no more. So, you know, it just. But let's go. So in a moment, but first, I need to talk to you about where you're buying your meat. As we all know, misinformation is everywhere in our culture. But what most of us are unaware of is that misinformation has invaded. I'm gonna let Candace ad play because I'm actually watching her video. So we're gonna let her ad so y'all can see her ad too. You know, grocery yeah. store. Did you know that meat labeled product of the USA is more often from overseas and from the US farms and ranches? That's why Good Ranchers was founded. They sell 100% American meat. They connect you to local American farmers so you know what you're buying and trust what you're eating. With Good Ranchers, you can cut through the noise and misinformation to take back control of what you buy. Don't bring mystery meat into your home. Have the confidence to every bite of chicken, seafood, and steak by ordering meat. Good Ranchers today. At half the price of those other online meat companies, you can get steakhouse quality you deserve at a price everybody can afford. Go to GoodRanchers.com and save on each box of 100% American delicious meats. Right now, get $20 off and free express shipping if you go to GoodRanchers.com slash Candice and use code Candice at checkout. That's $20 off and free express shipping at GoodRanchers.com slash Candice and use code Candice at checkout. Mention the things that the government has done. I'm saying, what are the things that black people have to be responsible for? Personal responsibility when it comes to education, when it comes to showing up at the school board. When it comes to teaching your children at home, and when it comes to being married and having children in a stable home, all of those things are personal responsibilities that the black community have to 
have to have responsible or be responsible for as well. I mean, you're talking about government entities. That's not everything. When you talk about people not getting access to loans, that's not every black person. When you talk about mm-hmm. education system being flawed in the black community, that's not every black person. You have a lot of wait, 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 wait. See, this is why I have to talk over people. You, know, because you, you, just said, to talk. you said something I, I that I, that warranted a response. A response. Right you, but you are right. That is ego and pride because you. I be doing that sometimes. It's because that pride is flaring up, and I, I got to tell you why I'm right. But yeah. Says something that warranted. I know, a response. I just gotta add one sentence wait, to Brandon. Wait, I was just gonna say, and, Brandon, did you know that in a Tom, another Thomas Sowell book that it actually uh, tells you that black people are more likely to be declined from a bank that's a black owned bank rather than a white owned bank? Did you okay. also know that American, I mean, that Asians are declined, I mean, are accepted at a higher rate than white people in this country? I learned that in a Thomas Sowell book. I just wanted to add those little, okay. little tidbits. Here's, here's, here's what it is this is American politics, right? People with their views want to shout at people instead of allowing them to make their points. This is this is this is, this is the problem. That sound good. This is this is this is this is the absolute problem. You said I had to go all the way back. back. He's going to be so. You confused. had to go all the way back to the 1930s, but I made a point about failing schools across the country right now. He said something about black accountability, and I as I sat here and described the, the, the a program that is unlike any other country. Any other in the country, black opportunities that is like any other in the country that is unlike any other civil rights organization in, in, in America. When I'm trying to lay that down to you, when I'm trying to tell you how I could start teaching kids about tech, how I could start getting people vocational skills from early on, giving kids an education outside of what they're what they're dealing with in these garbage schools. When I start talking about that, I get cut off. You constantly think that you're in this victim mentality. I'm in the we're victim mentality. Just trying to Meanwhile, have a conversation. Trump supporters have been crying since he lost the uh, election. You're such a hypocrite. Okay. People have been running around. Oh, the election was rigged. Oh, is something wrong here? I'm like, oh my God, isn't this what they accused us of doing? Well, did, didn't you, didn't the uh, Democrats do that when in 2016 they had a whole Russia collusion uh, investigation for three years? Yeah. Yeah, but guess what? I'm not a fan of the Democratic Party. Me neither. I am a follower of I am a follower of Malcolm X, okay. who said that the Republicans were wolves. So I get it. So he's but listen, so he's technically he's not Black Lives Matter no more. He has separated himself to become a separate black specific matter entity. And to where he is not just saying, we respect the Democrats and whatever Democrats say, Black Lives, you know, or whatever, whoever created that movement, we go follow him because that's the way to do it. No, he is, I will say, I do understand some of these concepts and I do like the fact that he's saying, I'm not, I'm not just saying I'm support that party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can agree with some of the things that he may be, you know, putting out there, but I think his, his lens it's a little, it's needs a little. to be sharpened. Yeah. So he can be a little bit more fact based and have more resources, uh, resources. And of course, this guy is very smart. He has a law degree, absolutely. Yeah. You know, but I think he doesn't hear everything that they're saying because his lens is still focused from this perspective and not open in his mind yeah. to hear what they're saying, nor to to fact check fact check himself. True. And the Democrats are wolves in sheep's clothing. And what, Don't what, what, are Black Lives Ma- what is Black Lives Matter? What is Black Lives Matter? Now, an organization now, by white now, Democrats. now, now you have to really, you have to really understand there's a hierarchy to Black Lives Matter. There is Black Lives Matter Global. That's whatever they're doing over there. Then there are the people who go outside, who watch someone like George Floyd being murdered on television, who watch people like Eric Garner being choked to death. You have people like that who just go out, who... It hurts. Who it hurts and just want to go outside and say, stop the racism. And then you have independent organizations like ours, like Black Lives Matter, Greater New York, who operates in a very effective way. Nobody will tell you we fed 15,000 people last year in the height of COVID. Nobody will tell you that we raised that money without the help of New York City government. Nobody will tell you that I opened the only Montessori school in the Bronx, New York. School systems are failing. We created a school that caters to the needs of our children. Those are the things that don't make the news because they're not clickbaits. Like, yeah. Candace, I agree. we get yeah. crazy. It's cool. 
But when we talk, we talk. <laughs> when we talk, we talk, right? I'm totally the bottom wrong line. Right now. Is, I just really want to bottom... get to my other four topics. <laughs> Are you going to okay, So I'm going to switch the topic to the uh, border patrol, oh. and let's uh, watch. Obviously, the media um, said that uh, Haitians were being whipped, and you can actually see the photo, which we're going to pull up here. Uh, Haitians being whipped on the border. This went viral, and this inspired a. <laughs> Uh, a very big reaction from our politicians. We can actually cut to seeing some of uh, Kamala and Maxine Waters responding uh, to this picture. I was outraged by it. I, it was wow. horrible and, um, and, and deeply troubling. There's been now an investigation that is being conducted, which I fully support, and there needs to be consequence and accountability. Uh, they, human beings should not be treated that way, and as we all know, it also evoked images of some of the worst moments of our history, where that kind of behavior has been used against the indigenous people of our country has been used against African Americans during times of slavery. And we can uh, also, Maxine has always got something to say. What the hell are we doing here? What we witness takes us back hundreds of years. What we witnessed was worse than what we witnessed in slavery. Cowboys with their reins again whipping black people Haitians into the water where they're scrambling and falling down when all they're trying to do is escape from violence in their country. Uh, Let me tell you, like, I I love this so much because it provided the perfect cover. There was so much pressure mounting on Democrats to answer for why, uh, you know, our country is currently being invaded, right, uh, at at the border. And they see this photo and they go absolutely crazy. And it was a great story. The only problem with it was that it didn't happen, (laughs) right? So what were your thoughts when when you saw this? What's your opinion on this story? Well, first of all, I heard it come out in the news that they were whipping whipping people. And I said, that seemed way too juicy. You know, and my whole thing, if it's too juicy, let me do some research. So all I did was do a little research, looked at the pictures. I I looked at a cowboy online, and they were talking about how they use split reins, the dynamics of split reins, how the horse, um, you know, is is maneuvered with the reins. And it's clear that they weren't whipping people. It's clear that that's not a tactic taught by the Border Patrol agents. All of that is very clear. All you got to do is do a little bit of research. And to see politicians come out and act like this was worse than slavery... To act like these people are being whipped, this is the most horrid scene that they've ever seen in their lives. And they are just projecting a lie. And as you notice, they're all saying the same thing. Right. They all are coming back to our history of racism in in the black community when these are Haitian people who are invading a country. Right. And they're not getting whipped. It's clear. Uh, And so obviously now what happened, of course, was the photographer who is not even on the conservative side of the political spectrum came out and said they they were just not being whipped. And it's just a weird angle. Um, Captured the migrant photos as agents didn't use whips. And now we actually... Um, have the full video of, so you can actually see what happened and how the media is still trying to lie about it. He's grabbing him by the shirt and he's that's horse rain, yeah. Horse rain still trying to grab him by the shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry, not y'all laughing. No, situation, but it's just but wow I, how they blow out of the Yeah, it oh my like, gosh. But oh see, that's God. the media, you know, has the it's power sick. of influence to it influence, does. and only going to give you a clip based off what it wants you to see and believe. Exactly. Yes. And that makes you think if that's the case with that, that's the case with a lot of other things. Of course it is. Of course. And when you think about it now, when you think about it now, when we had time to breathe, uh, reboot, eat some snacks, some food, and rethink about it. What's the agenda behind what you did? There's an agenda behind showing certain things to happen that is going to happen bigger than that situation. Our lives were lost. But the situation of lives that will be lost and things that will be put in place are going to be way more massive than that situation. And I now I see that. I've been, because we, transparent, I've been there. Oh, my God, they say blah, blah, blah. And then you start seeing, wait, if they don't want to talk about it, they're going to switch the camera. Oh, kitten is in a tree. This is the most important. Now they're showing all week about various kittens in different states are stuck in a tree. It's just like, it's. Uh, I, I see that. It's not. It's not cool. 
but let me go. Okay, Hawk, your thoughts. I'm afraid I can't give people the response that um, they were war. <laughs> I see, I see Haitians. I see people who have, whose country has been ravaged mm-hmm. by atrocity after atrocity. That's definitely true. Earthquakes, hurricanes. Too much. Yeah, the Clintons. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they, these, these people are sure. hopeless, and they are trying to make it to the land of opportunity. Mm-hmm. I'm not having a whole debate, but as a Christian... I feel compassion for those people. The imagery, when it first hit, looked terrible, right? Now, even looking at this, it does evoke. Like, I I would love for you all to look up a study by the American Psychology Association about racial trauma, right? Because it's really a thing, and it has a similar effect as PTSD. Any soldiers out there, you might know what I'm talking about. But with that PTSD, looking at this, it makes me think about slavery. Okay. Now, they came out with the, the and I'm going to finish quick mm-hmm. with respect. Um, the story about the whips, I was like, wow, this is effing horrible, right? But I see people in a really destitute, 15,000 people who are starving, who are just seeking a better opportunity. And I see them being exploited by the media, by this administration. Listen, when... I agree on that. Definitely agree on that. These people are seeking opportunity. And it is being used to promote racism. It's not these people need a, they want an opportunity better than the one they that it ain't racist. It's like now I'm starting to see like everything is being racist. Oh, 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 you you hate these people. You hate these people if you you know it's just oh my god it's just become it, it, this is I don't, I don't know how to explain it man. I just it's kind of getting a little irritating. The Mexicans were at the border. And Trump and I'm sorry, side note, I know what racism. I have gone through a real racist situation, and that ain't what I'm seeing all the time going on here. We calling it that and we labeling and trying to turn it to that. You know, but okay. Mm-hmm. It's in office. All of these same Democrats, AOC, Pelosi, Schumer, they all ran to the border. Right? Trump is the worst person in the world. But I was stand the one standing up. In the dark, the lone voice saying Obama's immigration policies were atrocious. Trump's doing the same thing. Now Biden's doing it all again, all over again. And flip-flopping Kamala two months ago said, I can't do anything about immigration. It's out of my hands. It's, it's too much to handle. The, the fact of the matter is Democrats nor Republicans have figured out immigration. Period. I would say, I would say yeah, well, we didn't have this going on when Trump was president, though, obviously. The numbers that are coming in right now are like nothing we've ever seen before. Um, and I, I think a wall would work, but also maybe not because they're taking flights. Yeah, why do you think they're coming now? What? Those Haitians weren't... Yeah, they, why, there why were they thousands coming, coming to the border when Trump was president. You know, like, people come to America. There were, we did not people have a surge... come of, to America. Most okay. of the people here Let's be today... Realistic. We did not have a surge of Haitians okay. showing up at our right. border when Trump was president. But, so I'm just asking a question. Why do you think they're coming now? You know what? The world is in a destitute place. We were ravaged by COVID, whether you believe in COVID or not. Econ- the economy was shut down. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of problems. Like, America has a problem with black migrants, with migrants of oh, color. Think- when, it was ra- when they were rounding people up, I didn't see one Russian person in handcuffs. Like, when, when we had the raids in New York, when I used to have to go to make sure that ICE wasn't beating the crap out of people, Wait. it wasn't in white neighborhoods. So you mean to tell me I'm white sorry, people I'm sorry, here I'm sorry. illegally? I'm sorry. America has a problem with black immigrants are you inc- or, or brown immigrants? What are you saying? I want to get this straight from you. Well, I don't, I don't... Are you including Mexicans? Yes. Do you know that they account for over 50% of all of our immigrants? So we have a problem with over 50% of all I of our immigrants. It. But what about the Asian immigrants? Well, they can't run over the border, so they actually come in legally. So... There, the, so, Asia's so wait, pretty far. Wait, wait, wait. We, we, we've been here before. Yeah. We've been here before. How many there are Asian, two borders. People sneak into this country of all walks of life. Stop making... Just how many, people, how many just illegal give, Asian just, immigrants just, do you think we have in just America? Just give people the truth. Everybody, I'm telling you the truth. Everybody comes into the country, and Democrats and Republicans alike make these, these, these exploitative uh, uh, mockeries 
of immigration by just pointing to the ones who are of color, who are politically That's poignant. Not true. Listen, African immigrants come here illegally. No, 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 this is just when, not true. Hulk, I can't just let you say something that just makes no sense. Okay? African, no, no, African, African immigrants come here legally. Asian immigrants can come we, here legally. Uh, they're separated by ocean, so African that's the reason why. African people come here illegally as well. Can, can, but not, not in the issue that we have right now. Not in a surge. Yes, there are some, yes, there are some illegal African immigrants. There aren't 200,000 at the border trying to come in, okay? That just is not what's happening. Be realistic. It is the illegal immigration problem is almost exclusively a problem that's happening at the south of the border. You paint with these wide brushes and you deny people the truth. You You're know not what? painting with Do any brushes. Favor to exactly. everybody who's watching, Where's your facts? Stop listening to people on TV and read an effing book. Okay, let me, I let me brought up Thomas Sowell. Let me jump in. I brought up three Thomas Sowell no, books. You can't just Google. You have to get an evidence-based uh, research. You just can't Google. Because people like him write the write write the reports, and they have very little facts to back it up. Anybody, your auntie, cousin, friend down the street, two weeks ago can write an article and put it up on Google. No, especially on Wiki. Google is not a source. You know I mean? When you want to put it in a, in a paper for a thesis, or even for my class when I was in grad school, I couldn't list Google as a resource. I can't. Li I couldn't list Wikipedia. As a resource, you know what? Somebody on Wikipedia, you could say Chinese food is really, really duck. duck Anybody chicken. can add to no. Wikipedia. Anybody can write something on Google, put up a website, and just tell you how they feel and give you their opinion with little facts to back back it up. Yeah. But they'll quote it as facts, or they'll have strings of facts in there. Yeah. But it won't be any evidence based research right. done. I agree. Come on now, bro.